Taurus, this is your Feb reading or seeing what Feb has in store for you. There'll be another reading for you. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and give it a like, a thumbs up comment subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you do resonate with the readings it will help support the work and energy that i put into the readings as you might know and you might not know i'm an intuitive reader so i channel and i use tarot to confirm and i'm going to try and look at all aspects so it might be a bit of a longer reading and we will also touch base on love um, I like to empower you to place the messages where they best fit sometimes. So having said that, let's let's dive into your reading. So if we go to, it's already wanting to talk, nearest recent past for Taurus or placements of Taurus. Anyone called to this reading, it asked me to start the moon. What are you not seeing clearly right now? Not able to make a judgment call on? Is there something where you feel you've are uh, loss of something? Let's clarify the moon, please. Magician. Some of you might have heavy Pisces energy or this other person is Pisces. I feel here you're being called to be the bigger person. Um, there's something that you are wishing, manifesting on that you're not seeing come through. I feel like you're being called to be the bigger person. And it's okay to make a mistake or if you feel like you've juggled something um, and there's a judgment call that you're not able to make, I think it's important for you to try to move forward and keep learning and not to hold on to the energy this is really interesting yin and yang don't whatever resentment or anger you're holding on to don't hold on to it so don't be in a very anger resentful way where it's stopping you from progressing towards towards where you want to go is there outside influences affecting you or this situation either with a person a relationship, an environment. Balance yourself out and know that if you've experienced a loss, you need to understand that not every loss is always L. And Maybe it's something that you need to 
let go of by being the bigger person and this could be you trying to juggle helping a person but also letting stepping away i feel there's also something here with these two of the recent past which could be as you know as you're seeing this or at the end of january um you're about to be blessed with something greater than if this is a person let's clarify if this is a person is it a person it's a confirmation that it's a person it's a relationship it could be any relationship a friendship it could be a relationship and move you letting it go there's a victory there's a positive card and it's a confirmation someone in the spiritual real realm is present and wants you to get yourself together you can do a lot better than what you're holding yourself and allowing yourself to which is what you're probably not seeing clearly let's get the current energies i also think with the magician make a wish if you haven't but what i'm getting here you're not stuck as much as you think you might be stuck let's see if a card comes out to confirm that in the current energies for taurus please current energy four of wands stability um, feeling more secure in yourself your foundation you're feeling more secure if you look it's a very bright card you see clearly uh, i feel like it's a strong card as well this does mean marriage and union in some aspect but so far in your reading we're going to hit we're going to look at that but i think this is where you finally choose yourself as opposed to anything, anyone, any place that doesn't deserve you. I think there's an element for you to continue, yeah, detaching. So there's something that's kept you, it, you could be dealing with Capricorn, but there's something that's kept you attached to this person, this situation. And it could be yourself, King of Swords. Have you not been thinking logically as well as aligning with your heart? Is one of them out of balance? And that's why you're finding it difficult to step away. It could mean you're also dealing with a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. This could mean that it's very difficult for you to step away. About from this place, situation, person but it's happening to open your eyes and so that you can see much more um, how you should be appreciated and treated like this King of Cups, the ultimate emotionally balanced, emotionally also given, but knows how to, not like the Queen of Cups, just gives, gives, gives is balanced, respected for their emotional intelligence, but also keeps their cup full so that they can give. And have their eyes open 
and go back to seeing themselves and their worth. This is really interesting. It feels a bit like a healing situation that needs to happen. If someone needs your help at this moment in time, patience as I say that, um, Don't hold on to the resentment and anger, but be helpful. Um, and you could you could show up for someone relevant at this time, even if you feel a certain way towards them, which could be the devil energy. Um, and that could be the re reference of being the bigger pi picture. Can I have clarification on the patience card for Taurus, please? And then we're going to go into love, see how this ties in for you. Patience card for Taurus and the near future. Three of Wands. Creativity, movement. You've decided to move and focus on... Um, Look at him, he's focusing on something new, this new opportunities. Maybe it's you focusing on yourself to get to the fruition. Ace of Pentacles, look at how this is growing. As soon as you pull your energy towards yourself, you have the patience, you're moving. You're moving with, you know, creativity, your self is balanced, you're passionate again, you're back in your... You know, you're feeling good, you're energized. And then here we go, Ace of Pentacles. Something comes as a gift in terms of, it could be stability, it could be partnership, it could be within your, sorry, it could be, um, you know, it could be the financial abundance if you've been waiting for that to come along. I also feel where I said it's a, there's a bit of healing I feel it's where you put yourself back into, come back into your self-focus. Your health comes becomes better if you feel like, you know, whether emotionally, mentally, physically, that's been draining. That's all coming back to you. Um, so that's, that's beautiful. If you're having a bit of a difficult time with this energy at the moment, you're moving away from it in February, which is beautiful. Now let's look at your love. Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to get to know you. Someone who is um, probably quite attractive and is a adventurous, ambitious type of person. This could be someone who wants to get to know you again. Um, I wonder if you've, someone's coming in or you've known this person and you maybe friend zoned them. Um, maybe because there was a lack of proper communication and clarity, Ace of Cups, love is coming in. Um, Eight, uh, eight of Wands, it's very passionate. Um, I wonder if they see you as marriage material or you're seeing them as marriage material. If it's someone returning, it's they see you as marriage material. I don't know if, if it is a fire sign because that's quite heavy or a cancer. Queen of Cups, as I say that. Um, so they definitely see you as marriage material and uh, someone who, you know, really could be the proper balance of what's needed 
um, for a marriage to really succeed. Um, give me clarity on this person. It could be a Gemini for a few of you. I definitely think it's someone, like I said, that you, uh, they walked away once and they want to get to know you again. It didn't go further or you friend zoned them. So a few options here, Taurus, for new love. And if you are in a relationship, this is going lovely. It's developing, you're connecting, you have um, similar values, you're connecting emotionally, physically, you're heading in the right direction. It could also be a new love that's um, a bit of a distance away that's coming in. So that's your love message there, Taurus. Let's just pull you one more card. And I just want an affirmation of some spirit, overall spirit message for Taurus. All placements of Taurus or anyone who was called to this reading for February. To create healthy boundaries, you must get in tune with your own needs, desires and feelings. Believe we are worthy of them. In your relationship, it's essential to know where they, where they end and where they begin. So I really feel this ties into, you remember where I said you start to recognize your worth, you start to pull your energy back to you um, and you separate your energy from whatever this initially is in the recent past, it could be what you're facing right now and you, um, you gain clarity by the four of swords that we had. Um, and you stop doing things that don't align with you or going back to these attachments. Um, if someone needs help, you can help them. But if you feel that you're not ready to because you had an attachment with that person, you can pull away. If you are able to help them, be the bigger person. But also know that you're not here, it's safe for you to trust, you're not here to fix everyone as well, Taurus. So I hope this resonated and if it did, I would love for you to give me a comment, a like, support the energy I put into the readings and subscribe as well if they do resonate with you. And I'm sure I'll see you in your next readings in February and all signs and other readings that I tend to post. Have a lovely day wherever you are, Taurus, and I'll catch you later. Take care.